everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. As for me, I have another sand boa, Mama. Hey, Mama, what's going on? What, what's going on? Oh, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. You're okay. Well, it looks like she definitely had some babies. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I'm gonna take this water out right here. We're gonna kind of just kind of search her. Oh, see a couple are moving around right now. Yeah, I love it. I'm not sure how many she's gonna have, but that's one little normal baby so far. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. An aneurythristic animal. So she is a head aneurythristic bred to an aneurythristic. So we have one aneurysm and one normal. We'll see how many. Looks like we got another little crawler over here. Oh, we got two. Look at this little head poking up over here. Got another aneurysm over here. Got another little, oh, another aneurysm. So that's three aneurythristics and one normal so far. I'm not, whoa, do you see her? She almost got me. Okay, mama, it's okay, it's okay. Don't, 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 don't. It's all right, baby. It's okay, mama. There's another normal over here. Nice big babies, too. They look really nice. See how many she's going to have. Let's see here. I don't see any more moving around right now. I can't believe she only had four or five. Oh, here's another one. Another aneurysmic right there. Let's see. Is that it? Is that the end of them? Huh. It looks like that might be it. I'm going to go through one more time, just kind of look around, because these little sambos definitely can hide a lot. So, yep, that looks like that's it, guys. It's not a big litter at all. It looks like we got one, two, three, four aneurysmics and two normals. And look at how feisty these little monkeys are. They're so funny. Look at they're just biting away like crazy. They are so absolutely adorable. Obviously, we've had a pretty good sambo a year. That's pretty cool to have a litter. They'll have anywhere from small litters like this, five or six babies, all the way up to 30 babies, believe it or not, for big females. Emails. but mama looks good looks like she passed all her babies everything looks fantastic so hey i tell you that is an absolutely amazing way to start my day eric what's up dude I got some bad news bud what's wrong remember that bird i bought you yeah peaches, peaches. Yeah. yeah do you remember it do you remember, do you remember what, i it, remember what happened to it um yeah what happened what's wrong it was, it was fine this morning well calm down bud i don't want you to uh, overreact or anything but um this is it now peaches yeah. It's what you the know. hell did you do? <laughs> well, well, what happened was uh, yeah. I hear that there was a little incident at your house with your brother. Yeah. There was. And your brother wanted retribution for How peaches. much did he pay you? I would have paid you double. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what actually, obviously, this is not peaches. Peaches is still doing good, right? Really good. Okay, really good. good. But what happened? But what? It does do beak. I know. It, it looks just like a peaches, right? <laughs> it does. So listen, uh, what what happened with peaches recently? Dude, so funny. My brother's over at my house. We had a couple cocktails in us, you know, and my brother loves little peaches. He goes to set it down. Peaches didn't want to be set down. He latches on his finger. I don't know. He was like a 90-year-old lady on uh, aspirin. Just blood spraying everywhere. Yeah, it was so funny. And I'm like, don't throw it, don't throw it. Because I thought he was just going to chuck that little peaches across the room. I've never seen so, so much blood in my life. There's blood all over everything. Peaches was covered in blood from its oh way all the way here. Like his finger like wiped it. We have the ugliest little bloody bird now. Oh ever my seen. gosh. Well, we brought you another bird. Dude, that's all. I love that. We thought that, this, I love one, that. this one won't bite you, okay? No. So, It'll remind okay. you of peaches when it's you're at work. It's the best kind of bird. <laughs> the one that's demonic, yeah. I don't know. It is the best kind of bird. It doesn't make any noise. Yeah. Exactly. Oh or a bite. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. All right. So good luck with your bird. Sweet. Uh, what are you going to name it? Uh, apples. Pe apples. Apples. Yeah. Apples. Yeah. 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 There we go. Okay. Take care of apples. apples. Take care of apples. <laughs> Literally. Two clutches of ball pythons left to cut this entire year. This clutch, and then there's not another clutch for about three weeks. So uh, for those of you guys that love egg cutting, I'm sorry it's coming to an end. For those of you guys that are sick of it, then you'll be happy we'll have other content. Regardless, this is actually a black pewter cypress that's bred to a yellow belly female. So basically the black pewter cypress is a pastel. It's a black pewter and it's a cypress and then of course the yellow belly. So who knows what we're gonna get. Let's go ahead and jump in to this first egg. Might be a little hard to tell in the egg a few of these animals so I'm gonna do my absolute best to kind of fill you in and right off the rip it looks like we have a black pewter yellow belly cypress maybe I think this might be the all gene animal you can really see the black pewter and you can see the yellow belly the cypress is really hard to tell in the egg I'm not gonna lie until they grow out but it's a possibility because it looks really clean that cypress gene cleans things up oftentimes you have more striping in it I see a little striping on this guy it looks real clean so bare minimum black pewter yellow belly possibly a black pewter yellow belly cypress would be the all gene animal it's gonna be a ripper no matter what so let's go ahead and move into egg number two here 
and these guys are literally ready to come out anytime now one egg actually even pipped in oh that's a pretty snake right there that looks like it's probably just a black pewter cypress without the yellow belly gene in it again you can see that cypress because of that big striping down the real clean color but the yellow belly kind of jumbles things up a little bit like that first animal so that definitely isn't a yellow belly but still a black pewter possible cypress which is pretty darn awesome what do we have here oh this looks like just a black pastel yellow belly which is really pretty i mean that black pastel and yellow belly mix really well together a lot of cool flaming up the sides and stuff like that so that's absolutely cool too all right and this is a really cool combination especially for people that like the silver or dark snakes this is a really cool combo what do we have here Oh, it looks like we just have a pastel, possibly a pastel yellow belly, but doesn't look like there's any cypress or black pastel in it. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Like I said, you can't win everything. And I tell you, I'm gonna miss egg cutting. We have one more clutch, but it's not for like a few weeks away. So, okay, this is all, oh, yeah, this is definitely a black pewter yellow belly cypress for sure. You can see how clean it is, that beautiful stripe. This one is 100% for sure. The first one, not 100% for sure, probably 90 90%, this one's 100%, all gene animal, black pewter, yellow belly cypress. Beautiful animal, that thing is a ripper. This egg actually already pipped a little bit, so that's why I know that this clutch was ready to go, and woo, this is a pretty snake, man. Wow, wow. That thing is gorgeous. So what this is here, wow, I tell you, I wasn't expecting this one to look so darn good. This is beautiful. This is actually a black pastel, yellow belly cypress. So this one doesn't have the pastel in it. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really like this animal. I mean, this is a ripper. Just those oranges, I wasn't expecting that. So I can't wait till that one comes out of the egg. Not the all gene animal, but maybe the prettiest animal in the clutch. I'm not 100% sure. One last egg, and then we're gonna have a few week break from cutting eggs, and then only one more clutch. Let's see what we have here. And it looks like another black pastel possible cypress. Doesn't look like there's yellow belly in it at all. So that's okay though, still a really pretty animal. So all in all, a pretty cool clutch. Lots of silvers, lots of dark morphs. Got the one pastel, you know, stuff like that. This is cool. These will be out in two or three days and I'll give you guys the update. Still just a couple more tickets available for the Crawl Movie Night here. This Saturday at the Reptarium, Savannah from Gatorland is coming up. We're gonna do a premiere of the Crawl Movie, that really awesome alligator movie. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description. I'm gonna pin a comment. If you guys wanna come and hang out nine o'clock after we close the zoo and just have a small group of people watch a movie, hang out and have a great time, pizza and stuff like that, go ahead, check that link out and go ahead and reserve those last couple tickets. Got a couple boxes that Lori just brought back from the PO box. This one says, of course, open on the vlog. Uh, this is all duct taped up. Did you ever see mm, this? I is... did not notice that when I grabbed it. Yeah, it's a duct tape. It's from uh, Timmins, Ontario, and it's from Mel. So Mel, uh, thank you. Let's go ahead and see if we can't open this up and see what is going on in here. Yeah, that's the best oh. way to cut mm. kids is right to the chest. <laughs> right to that's the, the chest. Safe <laughs> Always yeah. do this when you're cutting cut towards you 100% of the time. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a little styrofoam box, <laughs> so that's good. How about... Ooh. Read on the vlog. This is going to be a lot to read on the vlog. I'll read as much as wow. I can. I'll read as much as I can. We don't, Brian, I sent you a little homemade clay ball python. If you look closely on the pattern, it says BHB. I love watching the vlogs every day and I appreciate your work to put them uh, to educate us through the vlogs. I have a tongue twister challenge for you. Uh, anyone who like to do this challenge, oh my gosh. Say this three times as fast as you can. It's, it's easy. You gotta say it without looking once and say it. I don't know. You wanna try this? The big black bear ate the big black buck. The big black bear ate the big black bug. The big black bear ate the big black bug. The big black bear ate the big black bug. Okay. You say it now. No. <laughs> what? Do, uh, Jay, say it. All right. The big black bear ate the big black bug. The big black bear ate the big black bug. The big black bear ate the big black bug. Okay, moving on. Uh, <laughs> there's also a bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, oh, and, and by the way, Jacob and Crowley comment on our videos all the time so thank you so oh, let me look thank at the you. actual thing <laughs> like, we're talking we already forgot so first off we got oh you know i used to love these when i was kids chocolate coins they were the chocolate coins yeah because you were rich and it was candy oh my gosh canada uh, okay so yeah this is from canada okay there you go and then this so, is oh no did you see what it is it's oh. like the, it's it's uh loony 
Oh, it's a loony! For you a guys that don't know about Canada, loony yeah, it's a is a, is a I like just a, wanted to make sure maybe he sent yeah. us actual money, but no. No, no, no. Kidding. So loonies are actually dollars in Canada, coins, and toonies are two dollars. So, and then there's some maple leaf heart candies. That is awesome. And then I think this is the snake that is handmade. Oh, it's really beautiful. And it should say, oh, there it is right there. See, <laughs> BHB. That's that cute. is super cute. So thank you so much and appreciate you always commenting on the vlog. So well, uh, you're great. I also appreciate what he wrapped it in. So that's a homemade dishcloth because I make those as well. And uh, you can always use another one. So thank you. Yeah, so there you go. All right, where's that knife? Um, where's that knife? Here, you call that this. a knife. Call that a knife? This is a knife. Give me a knife, quick. I, the knife. You got to do that one, so I'm gonna oh, do this Don't one. put that knife at me. Relax, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Again, I'm Look cutting towards myself, right? Is that I know, did you, you I, I've taught her well. I taught her well. <laughs> this one is from, where's this from? From Vermont. Oh, it says maple syrup and honey on it. I wasn't give it away. There was a little uh, clue maple on the Maple syrup thing. and honey on it. Dear Brian and family, Really enjoy watching your videos. I am a person who didn't like snakes at all, but watching you handling the snakes changed my mind. That's awesome, thank love you. love hearing that. Yeah. I'm thinking about maybe holding a snake one day. You should, you I should. I hope you will us. enjoy a taste of Vermont. Oh, well thank you so much, and I was impressed that you were able to read that. By the way, without your glasses. <laughs> oh, first off, ooh, oh right. God, it's yeah. Some taste meat of sticks. Vermont. There's some meat sausages. Sticks. He just meat loves stick is that. great. Uh, this is uh, ooh, this looks good too. I love honey. I'm a huge honey it's fan. Honey? Yeah, it's honey. It's probably very organic, right? We get Canadian maple syrup a lot, so this is uh, Vermont maple syrup. This is dark color, robust taste. Well, maybe that's that's a good tasting for Noah's channel or something. Oh yeah, maybe we'll do that on Noah's a, channel. A we'll taste, taste the syrup taste. Yeah, like See what's what, the Vermont best? versus Canada. Who else does? I don't maple know. We syrup? can find some other ones because you know it goes good with syrup. If you guys are waffles. like happy in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> yeah, waffles. Are good. If you guys are maple <laughs> syrup people, uh, send us some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll, Great. we'll do a, we'll do a little right, maple so syrup thing. <laughs> We're going to have a sugar high for weeks. So, uh, okay, well, thank you. This is awesome. I'm going to have one of these right now. Chameleons are absolutely amazing. Of course, this is Raul here. And a lot of people that come into the Reptarium always ask, like, how do they change colors? You know, how fast can they change colors? The truth is, they really don't change colors. Basically, what happens, they have something that's called chromatophores, which is the same thing that you can actually see with an iridescent snake like Night Fury or a Brazilian rainbow, that rainbow sheen. The difference is that these can actually articulate the chromatophores to kind of have the light of the sun hit them differently and that's how they change their hues. An animal like Raoul can actually go from like a green color to kind of a yellow color to even more of a brown but it's always going to have the same exact pigment. It's just going to be different hues and again that's just the way the chromatophores actually will reflect and they can actually shift them to where they can actually look a little bit different. So actually chameleons don't change color they just kind of change the hue of the same color. You can even see in this short clip that Raoul all went from more of a brownish color to a more green color just within the last 30 seconds. We've got the last crested gecko babies that hatched this year just hatched out. These guys are pretty too. Yeah, they are. What is the, uh, do you know what these guys actually are? They're probably extreme harlequins. Extreme um, harlequins. Yeah, I'm still learning their morphs a little bit. They're a little weird. Yeah, well, they're absolutely gorgeous <laughs> yeah. little dudes. And we don't produce a lot of crested geckos, but it's cool that we had some, uh, we'll probably, I'm not sure if we'll raise these guys up or put them on the website. I'm not 100% sure. I have sure. one we're gonna raise up that's okay. super pretty from the last clutch. That oh, okay, hatched. cool, yeah. well, cool. It's a pinstripe, it's really nice. Nice, well, cool. Well, we'll maybe we'll hang on to these for a little while, let them get a little bit of color and size, and then decide if we're gonna raise them up and all that other good stuff. But nevertheless, the last crested geckos for the year. So this is the one you wanted to keep? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is. It's absolutely it's adorable. Dalmatian too. It's got some oh, it's, spots. It's so pretty. That is gorgeous. Kind of a bummer that this is coming down to the last clutches of the year to cut, but I absolutely enjoy it. Not to mention some awesome new Samboas. This has been a good year for those guys too. If you enjoy egg cutting, here's another egg cutting video, an entire playlist of egg cutting over here. You can hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, can you turn those post notifications on? Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.